Day 8, year 46. My prison number is hashtag 731123. In the prison Catch 22, on the prison planet Gaia, soon to be liberated from the dark forces that runs this place right now. So, today I've been working a lot with uh, my music and. Um, I feel inspired again. Uh, so the time is right to make some awesome music and living the dream. As Jay says at uh, Prehistoric Pets TV, very good uh, channel on YouTube that I follow because I'm a big reticulated python guy. It's been my favorite snake since I discovered it, since I was about 10 years old. Wow, the world's longest snake, you know. Then Brian Barczyk blew me away with Lucy and uh, <clears throat> Daisy. Night Fury is, wow. That's my dream retic if uh, I want to buy a retic in the future, but they are very expensive. $5,000 for snakes is a very lot. A lot of money. That's about 50,000 Swedish crowns. That's a heck of a lot of money. So then you gotta buy a, uh, and build a terrarium for them also. So yeah, that's 10,000 Swedish crowns plus for a big size snake like that. But a golden chai motley is a dream snake. Oh, the iridescence. Of Night Fury is amazing, and I know Jay at uh, Prehistoric Pets has some great morphs. Wow, and he has the knowledge of snakes. So I've been uh, watching my snakes uh, vlogs the cup uh, a couple of days to get back to the roots again. Because if I'm going to make it back into society again, because um, my situation seems a little bit hopeless sometimes, I still have a dream of uh, having a pair of snakes in the future. Maybe not a retic, but uh, I am a big boa constrictor fan. Oh. I have a new favorite that I discovered years ago from Ecuador. Uh, it's called Boa Constricto Melanogaster. <sighs> Very dark cells and beige coloring and almost black and white belly. <sighs> so freaking nice. I would love to have a couple of those, a pair, and breed some snakes just for the fun to. Uh, rehabilitate, uh, breed to uh, let them out in the future again uh, into the forest because of the <coughs> deforestation in Ecuador by the oil and companies and stuff. So um, I would love to have a pair of those. Um, last night I had a dream that I won. Uh, in Sweden what we call uh, the dream win um, it's uh, Lotto uh, Lotto 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 and you can win a, a minimum of 75 million Swedish crowns and I was uh, the winner of this precious prize so I went to a guy uh, that my um, godfather knows and uh, he's a drum salesman in Sweden for Krafton. Uh, they are the general agent of uh, Tama drums in Sweden so and that's my brand of drums if you want to know what I play when I play drums it's Tama drums all the way. So I called my godfather and told him Dude, we gotta go to Japan. 
we got to see the uh, Japan factory where they build the uh, most expensive drums and the SIG uh, snare drums and stuff. So I hooked my godfather and Anders up on a flying ticket and we went over to Japan and bought me two sets of drums. One for my home studio and one for touring. Uh, so I don't have to pick up and pick down all the time uh, and bought me some real nice guitars also I, uh, signature uh, Andy Timmons model AT100 oh, I love that guitar it reminds me of an old Stratocaster Fender oh that sunburst and uh, Andy's uh, own uh, mics oh it sounds awesome then uh, we went from japan over to california to visit uh, ernie ball music man guitars to pick up some guitars from there too because i'm a big dream theater fan and uh, john petrucci has a signature line called majesty and uh, I love that guitar. Uh, I haven't played it yet uh, because they are so expensive and rare to get in Sweden. So we passed by the factory and uh, custom made a couple of those for me in different uh, metal tunings. And uh, the, la the last three months I've been listening a lot of uh, Devin Townsend uh, music from Vancouver, Canada. And uh, his tuning is Open C, I think. And it's so dark and heavy and mm, power, you know. So one guitar in Open C, uh, one in Drop D, and one in standard tuning in uh, 432 Hertz tuning the Schumann resonance Hertz I want to tune all my guitars uh, surrounding that Hertz because that's the uh, Earth's own uh, Hertz signal so I resonate better with the music <clears throat> so I had a dream about that then we went back to um, where were we? Yeah, I went to California to visit Jay from Prehistoric Pets, then uh, Miguel at Always Evolving Pythons. Then I went to Brian Barczyk in uh, Detroit, outside of Detroit. And uh, then we went to Austin, Texas, and down to Fort Lauderdale, no, Miami or something. We went to Florida anyway, to the Everglades. and. Uh, had a tour down there then uh, I went to we went back to the Big Apple New York and saw a concert and hang out with uh, some great musicians from Dream Theater and uh, then we took the flight back home to Sweden <clears throat> the funny part of this dream is it was so detailed <laughs> uh, because when I was on the fa in the factory in Japan of uh, uh, the, 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 the Tama factory and uh, I could choose what all the plies of the drum I wanted so I could choose the wood type if I wanted quilted maple or flame maple or yeah whatever so we went back to Sweden uh, then I uh, cashed off all my debts my student loans and all my debts and then I went to an architect and uh, wanted to design my own house I have a dream of building me a pyramid house just enough place a space to have it comfortable I'm not a materialistic guy uh, one living room, kitchen, dining area, two bedrooms, one guest room, 
or if I meet someone that has a child that needs a bedroom okay fine and uh, it was in three stories and a library also and the funny part uh, was that we had an extension of the house like it was like a glass hallway into a smaller pyramid that was my studio and under the studio uh, what no this is an old dream I had uh, years back if I was uh, I had another dream house at the time because I was thinking ah I'm gonna build a studio on the ground and uh, over the music room and uh, the mixer room I was uh, going to build a big pawn of uh, with the uh, koi fish so you can see right up into the water down to the studio and vice versa a very cool idea so yeah we designed my house then I waited to the house to be built and my stuff came around yeah I bought some bases and keyboards and stuff like that because I can play I'm a self-taught musician. I only went to. Uh, I had a drum teacher for two weeks a summer. Uh, since then, I've been self-taught all the way. Maybe got some tips and stuff like that from my godfather. He's a drummer too. He's a jazz drummer. Uh, but anyhow, I was dreaming so intensely, and. The details were exact, and uh, I was building my house. Either it was a place of water, I can remember. I don't know if it was the ocean or a uh, a lake. I I can't remember exactly, but it was astonishing, anyhow. And the uh, driveway into the house was uh, a long straight with an alley uh, of uh, Japanese cherry trees planted on each side, like in Dallas, you know. Ah, it was amazing. Uh, then I fucking woke up and I checked my uh, account. Broke. <laughs> yeah, back to reality. Uh, yeah, so I'm back at it, uh, music-wise, and uh, hopefully uh, the move is going to be well as well, so I hope you have a superb week with lots of love and light because we and Mother Gaia needs it now more than ever before. So I love you all. Namaste.